All right, guys, welcome back. I'm calling this the Beretta 1301 Redux. Uh, the big change here is in the handguard. So previously, I had the Aridus Industries handguard. It's basically an adapter for a Magpul uh, AK handguard to fit onto the Beretta 1301. Uh, my problems with it, though, uh, it's real flexible. Uh, I'll drop a video, a picture in picture here, so you guys can see just kind of the flex that's in there. It also exposes some of the, the action bars in the spring. You can definitely see that from the top. And then lastly, uh, it's pure plastic. So there's no metal behind that M-lock backer. So for me, attaching sling points, lights that can get hit, it's just not ideal. And also, uh, the way that the handguard is made, you can't put a sling point close to the receiver, which I like to do. So all that kind of added up. I went, uh, took on a leap of faith. I ordered this 1301 handguard from Bradley Manufacturing. Uh, it took a while for me to get it actually, but I'm very happy uh, with the final product. So I'll kind of talk you guys through uh, what I've done with the handguard mostly, and then overall with the rifle as well if you haven't seen my previous video on this shotgun. So first off, installation is as easy as just taking the shotgun apart and putting the handguard back on. I just unscrew uh, the tube extension, pull that off, handguard slides off, new handguard slides on, and that's really all there is to it. It is entirely aluminum, which is very nice. It's super light. It's just over 13 ounces, so you're not really adding any weight. And of course, it is, it is rigid. What I like about it is that it comes up over the barrel. So I can grab this handguard just like this, and I can have kind of like a thumb over bore grip, but I'm not uh, in any danger of contacting a hot barrel on a on a very high uh, round count of course of fire. I added sling points back into the receiver here. Uh, I started out here testing it in the furthest back, but I found that with violin loading, the sling sometimes get too close to the uh, port there. So I just moved the forward one and all was good. I added one up front as well. Really for me, I'm gonna play with that a little bit for some uh, traditional sling supported position with some slugs and just for the the heck of it, but also I like this for slinging on my back because it opens the sling up so it makes it tighter uh, to your body and you know on the weapon there. Same light setup, you know, I, this has been much maligned, but this is a, a shotgun for home defense, uh, if you will. So your max effective is not very much. I'm perfectly happy this TR1 uh, and the pressure pad setup that I have being retained by these rigorous bands. And I just threw some Velcro tape on so I can press it when I want to and then not be on it when I don't want to. On the rear of the shotgun, I have the Aridus Chrom. So this is their T1 mount. So this will take any T1 pattern optic pretty much and then it mounts directly to the receiver. It replaces the stock Picatinny section. I took out the rear sight because I'm trying to like reduce uh, things in my field of view. If I had my way, I would take the front side off too on the shotgun and just have uh, the aim point. I'm, I'm comfortable having only an aim point uh, on my shotgun. And maybe you want backup iron sights, but I don't like having absolute co-witness, so I would do away with them entirely uh, because there's really no way to get anything flip up in this kind of configuration. On the back, this is the Aridus stock adapter. So I do really like this stock. It's a magpul stock. Um, it has the provision for a QD point on either side here and a sling loop. I personally would like to see magpul move this point back. Uh, the way it's centered up here in the stock, it doesn't really uh, balance super well. Maybe just add a second point of anyone at magpul. Feels like they need to update their, their shotgun stock. I, I doubt it. And then I have just a card Velcro carrier here, so I get five more shells on the gun as needed. So, really good package here. I'm really happy with the Brawley Defense handguard. Uh, I think it's the way to go because it's just very light, very rigid, enables a lot of mounting points. It does really nice checkering on it as well. So even if I didn't have these VCM uh, rail covers, I would still have some pretty good grip. I think just having this much M-Lock ability uh, with no, no issues whatsoever as far as durability is a big win. And the only downside that I see to this handguard 
is that it's expensive and it just adds a little bit of bulk. So this kind of configuration is bigger than a stock 1301, but really it's, it's nominal. And I don't think you're, you're losing anything by going with this kind of setup. I highly recommend it. You're gonna see some more shotgun content on the channel. Uh, so look for that in the future.